Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel here. Today we're doing Jim Jeffries Free Dumb, D-U-M-B. So I can already tell this is going to be right up my alleyway. I love edgy comedy and I have heard of Jim Jeffries before. Um, I think I've seen a couple clips of him and I really dig him. He's an Australian comic, but I definitely haven't seen this. Uh, this is from one of my Patrons, Reina, thank you so much for all the support you give me here on this channel. I really appreciate you, and thanks for uh, suggesting some more comedy, because I definitely want to get some more comedy up here on this channel. I think I need it. Uh, so let's do this. Quick reminder to go subscribe to Jim Jeffries at his original channel here. Give him the support. But if it's your first time here or if you've watched me before, please consider subscribing, liking, leaving me a comment. I read every single one of them. It does help me quite a bit, so I do appreciate you and thank you. Um, and if you feel like supporting me further, I do have a Patreon link down below. It's the best way to do that. Okay, let's do this. And then they always say this, and this fucking spins me out. Well, I don't expect an Australian to understand freedom. <laughs> what are you talking about? You constantly say freedom all the time, like you're the, oh, we're so free, we fight for freedom, 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 come to the freedom lounge or the airport, like fucking what? <laughs> you know when you're singing the national anthem at the baseball and the, and the person holds the note free for a little bit longer than they should yes. until all you Americans fucking come in your pants? <laughs> <laughs> for the land of the free. <laughs> oh, we're so free. Freedom this, freedom that. Free, free, free. Now, I hate to break it to you because I don't think many of you know this. There are 92 free countries on the planet. Democratic free countries. You are one of them. Every single English speaking country on earth is free, and most of the countries are also free. <laughs> oh, God. I think he means the African countries. It's hilarious. Um, I have some Australian uh, family, so I, I dig both sides of this. Uh, the Aussies are so damn amazing, man. And they can be so, like, uh, blunt, which I enjoy. Did you see that one guy in the crowd who's just staring at him like, don't you fucking dare, man. I'm free. I'm free. And it's like, okay, guy. All right, guy. Um, this, is, this is good, though. This is definitely a jab in the heart to a lot of people. They don't like hearing this. Single English-speaking country on earth is free, and most of the countries are also free. <laughs> Now, you're very free, don't get upset. <laughs> and I have a wonderful, I love America, I truly do. I, I, I live here and I love it. I have nothing against, and none of the things I'm about to mention affect you, affect me in any way, right? You may not be the freest place on earth. <laughs> Just a quick example, um, out of the 92 free countries, on the planet, you uh, have the highest rate of incarceration. 1% of your adult population is in prison. That's double that of the country that comes in second, which is South Africa. And if you've ever been to South Africa, South Africa's fucked. <laughs> so you're double that of South Africa. So statistically, <laughs> in the land of the free, you have the least amount of free people. <laughs> It's so true, and it is so screwed up. It, the, the, the incarceration rate here, it's a huge topic, but just the idea that there are, at any given time, a handful of people, actually quite a few people, that are locked up against their will for crimes they didn't even commit blows my mind. Uh, that they potentially didn't even commit blows my mind, right? And that's coming out of taxpayers' pockets. So it's doubly ridiculous, 
and then a lot of these crimes are, uh, sorry, a lot of these um, incarceration stats are really beefed up because of like, um, for a long time, the war on drugs brought uh, people who had just possession of marijuana into the system um, in ways that was v that were pretty unfair towards certain parts of the population. Jim is hitting this <clears throat> nail on the head 100%. I think Americans don't like to be poked. I don't consider myself one of those people. I don't feel um, irked by people commenting on things we do wrong because we do a lot of things wrong. Uh, we do a lot of things great too, but um, I think people should be willing to look at their problems in the mirror. And uh, he's dead on about this. In the land of the free, you have the least amount of free people. <laughs> Now, this is a super simple one, super simple argument. In Holland, you can smoke weed whilst fucking a hooker in front of a cop. <laughs> How dare Holland not be called the land of the free? <laughs> Do you honestly think you're competing with Holland? <laughs> in Canada, just last year, they legalized assisted suicide for the sick, which I believe is the biggest freedom of them all. It's your life. No government, no religious group should ever tell you when you get to check out. If you're a pro-life person, good. Do it with your life, not mine. Okay? Now, I agree with that. And also, I don't think they've thought about it. I don't think there's even the most evangelical Christian who's a burn victim, just like hanging on to life support in a hospital, just, <laughs> I feel so free. God. And I'm so glad they're doing it in Canada because if I ever had an assisted suicide. But it's true, there's like a lot of medical reasons you can think about someone that's in so much pain. Yeah, we have palliative care here and hospice care for people, but there are, you know, um, certain consent forms you have to sign here, but we don't have anything that's structured for assisted suicide. I think Oregon was playing with it, uh, but it's on a state issue. But it's it's definitely something worth talking about and exploring, because um, there are people that live with excruciating medical pain um, that don't have support from family members, you know, whatever reason, and they're liber literally living hell every day to day. So um, it's a nuanced topic, but yeah. I wanted to be a Canadian doctor. <laughs> oh. I want some guy rocking up to my house like, okay, you're ready then. Uh, <laughs> so I hear that someone's given up on life, eh? Oh, God. <laughs> All right, let me just set up my little death machine here, and I'll, uh, <laughs> I'm going to put this in your vein, and you're going to be so sleepy so soon, I tell you what there. <laughs> In Australia, maybe 20 years ago, maybe 20, they, they legalized prostitution. They thought it would be the downfall of our society, but it really wasn't. It was a great thing. Like in Sydney, where I grew up, the, the streets always had hookers walking around everywhere. There was needles, and it was a very seedy city in some parts, you know. And then what they did was they legalized prostitution, and they moved all the hookers into brothels. And because they moved into brothels, all the girls had to be tested for STDs. And, they, and then the guys... They could see the tests as they go in, so it was safer for the men, but it was also safer for the women, because what they did was they put security in these brothels. So if you showed up like a drunk idiot, they wouldn't let you in. Or if you got a bit aggro, they'd kick you the fuck out. So the girls were safer, the men were safer. Human trafficking was all but eliminated, and uh, tax revenue went up, and the divorce rate dropped by 8%. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> there is no downside to legalized prostitution. Now, in America, prostitution is illegal unless you film it. <laughs> How is that possible? How the fuck is that possible? How do you have the biggest porn in- Lobbyists. How the fuck is that possible? 
How do you have the biggest porn industry in the world and you still have illegal prostitution? Because it is legal to pay a woman for sex, but your friend Dave has to be in the corner with a camera. Oh my God. And Dave has to film it. And Dave has to promise to put it on the internet because if Dave doesn't put it on the internet, then a crime has been committed. And that girl can be 18 years old. And then she can be surrounded by 10 men that she barely knows. And they can all jack off onto her face until she's glazed with cum. Fuck. And no crime has been committed. Hmm. But in America, and only in America, she's too young to have a beer. If anyone... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about deserves it. ...deserves a beer. <laughs> In the land of the yes. free, the home of the brave, it's the girl with ten loads of cum on her face. Oh, God. In fact, if you have ten loads of cum on your face, you should get free drinks wherever you go. <laughs> you seem like a fun girl. Or a heavy sleeper. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God. That's sparking something in my head because I definitely, he's so crude. I think, I, it's a long time ago. I've seen a clip or something from him and he broke something down like that very logically as well. But then he just slaps you in the face with the, with the stuff like that at the end. Um, dude, Jim Jeffries is hilarious though. He actually is really hilarious. I would love to see some more from him. And I'm just looking now at this photo. He basically looks like Donald Trump. That's so funny. With the uh, the bald eagle coming out. Oh my god. With the bald eagle coming out of his hair. Ha! That's actually really good. The most American photo I've ever seen. Or anti-American, actually, when you think about it. Um, wow. Wow. I liked his point about beer at the end there because it is quite ridiculous and this conversation has happened so long but you know the fact that the drinking age is 21 yet you're allowed to serve in the military go to war and fight for your country I know they lower the age technically in the army but um, it's BS it's BS um, you can vote um, you can drive you know driving is so dangerous right but you can't have beer right you can't have a beer so um, you know, there's there's things that are completely out of whack here in our country, and I think there's this America kind of vibe that goes around almost as a joke, but definitely certain parts of the country, it, it really is the way people think. Yet, if you look at stats, we are behind in education. Um, you know, like as far as Western countries go, we're one of the lowest. Um, now, that's nuanced as well, and we could get into that. But if we're talking about a country as a whole, it's true. But we also have a huge swath of the population that's very diverse. Every state has its own laws. You know, this topic could go on forever, right? It's like you can't, it's apples to oranges. You can't compare the U.S. to the rates in Sweden, for example, because that's a homogeneous population, right? You know, a uh, much smaller country. It's easy to tackle those battles. To change anything in America, it's like trying to steer an oil tanker or a, a freight tanker, right? It's it's going to take a long time for any change to be enacted. And then you have states' rights, which complicates it further. So um, thank you, Jim, for pointing all of that out. That was hilarious. I would love to see some more. Reina, thank you so much for suggesting this. I really appreciate that. If you want to suggest a song, I've got ways to support me in the links below. Uh, Patreon is a great way to do that as well. Um, but most of all, I really just appreciate all of you. Thanks for being here. Make sure to subscribe, leave me a comment, and like this. It helps so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.